the situation that we have in our schools, specifically in primary and secondary schools. Comprehensive sex education is a very important thing and component of our lives, especially in our children's lives. I want to speak as a woman and as a mother, and specifically as a rural leader, that we have a lot of problems when it comes to teenage pregnancies. And many times, it is because we have not... Uh, with our children to understand and let them uh, to, to give um, advice to our girls and boys as they grow up, especially when they are in adolescence. Because these are the, the times that every one of us during that time feels like they are you know, becoming special, they are seeing a lot of difference in their body, uh, morphology, and they also want to try a lot of uh, you know, you know, feelings and interactions together. It has also been made worse, um, Madam Speaker, by the fact that nowadays we have schools that is designated fully for girls and boys' schools. We are actually drifting away from the realities that when we encourage these single schools sometimes, it becomes so hard for these children to understand and adopt their, um, their differences. Because when I am a girl and I am at my teenage, I would probably want to imagine the next person who is also a girl like me would be feeling differently or uh, I want to explore what, the, what the, I, my, uh, my other friend is feeling. 